The big question that you are asking at the moment are, are exams going to be cancelled? Oh, this question comes up so, so often. So here is my latest opinion update on whether exams are going to be cancelled or not. Before we get into this whole topic, um, I asked people on TikTok, because I'm now on TikTok now, so go and find me over there if you want kind of like 10 second little bits of revision, little bits of de-stress, in between all the crazy chaos dancing over there, and occasionally there might be me doing crazy chaos stuff. Anyway, let's move on. So, the updates are that there is a new variant in the country. We do not know too much about this new variant at the moment. We don't know whether the vaccine is going to be effective against it, whether the boost is going to be effective against it, um, whether it's a more severe, less severe illness that we get um, if you do catch the new variant of coronavirus. Um, but people are having to, like, if you're a close contact of someone who has um, been affected with the new Omicron, Om, Om, Omicron, Omicron, I don't know, variant of this, is that you have to go back to self-isolating. So there are going to be people missing school again, teachers missing school again, because they need to self-isolate as a close contact of this. I hear that there is going to be a big announcement from the government about Christmas and potential future lockdowns. Um, which means, I mean, it's not looking good is it? It's not, it's not looking amazing, it's not looking great for exams. At the moment, exams are still going ahead and there's a whole situation where you've got to do three marks, say one before Christmas if you manage to squeeze that in, one in the spring term and one in the summer term. And I think because of this uncertainty um, around exams, like whether the new variant's going to explode and be absolutely horrible, whether there are going to be more lockdowns or not, um, we need to kind of like plan for the worst and hope for the best. That's such a cheesy thing to say. Plan that the exams are going to be cancelled and that the mocks you're taking in school at the moment are going to count as your actual grades. So take them really, really seriously. Do as much revision as you can fit in for them. Um, and then hope that exams still go ahead and the revision that you've been doing for your mocks is actually really, really going to pay off towards the exams because if you are revising for your mocks, then you will have started revising earlier than any other year in history and you'll be really, really, really well prepared for your exams. Um, so, like... I'm personally about 75% that exams are going to take place. I asked like a lot of people all over the place and opinions were kind of like consistent, like 50-50 exams are going to be cancelled, exams are going to go ahead as normal, whether I asked on like, you know, Twitter or Instagram or YouTube or TikTok, it all came out as basically 50-50. But, you know, those are just people's opinions and we don't know, no, no for sure until exams cancelled. Obviously, if um, they come out next weekend and say exams are cancelled, I'm just going to have a little cry. But anyway, um, we need to take mocks seriously, um, but we need to take them seriously in a way that we're not going to burn out before we actually get around to doing the whole actual exams. So, um, try and just really, really focus on securing knowledge at this point, I would say. So, doing lots of, like, recall questions, lots of retrieval questions, lots of multiple choice questions where you can pick from the answers. So, it's kind of, like, high impact, low stakes revision. So, you're really focusing on getting the knowledge in, getting the secure knowledge in, which you can then take and apply in exams. So, we are going to treat this as, like, a normal exam period, and I'll definitely say for this time of year, be focusing on the low stakes retrieval sorts of questions, and then we will ramp it up slowly as we go through to you working out how to apply that into an exam situation. Um, and use the mocks as kind of like um, practice, um, not only at the content of exams, but practice at sitting exams, so that you will be really, really used to it by the time that uh, you get around to it. Um, if you're in year 13, you missed all of this practice when you were in year 11, so it's actually a good thing for you, trying to work out the positives in this. 
Um, there are lots of useful things that you can be doing, like I said, multiple choice questions and filling in gaps and flashcards and useful things that will um, not only be useful for your mocks but be useful for like your actual revision in the exams. But you've got to keep in mind we don't want to do too much too soon and it is important that you are making time for things like you know walking the dog and things like going out with your friends these things are still important but good habit takes time to establish so starting now um is a good thing so i'm 75 percent the exam is going to happen at the moment but the whole way through this is going to be you and it's going to be me and we're going to do this together Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.